So hello guys in this video we will be discussing about the cyclo converter controlled induction motor drive okay so this is one important topic now here what you have to understand we will understand point wise what all things you have to write in exam what all things you have to consider okay so first thing you have to define what is what does the cyclo converter do so first point comes here which so here we have got the first point that is nothing but see basically it converts the fixed voltage and frequency AC supply okay so fixed voltage frequency AC supply this is been converted into variable frequency variable voltage supply that is what the cyclo converter do so first point is basically variable frequency and variable voltage supply to be obtained from from where it is obtained from this one is it obtained so in other words you can say that this fixed voltage and fixed frequency AC supply is been converted into variable frequency and variable voltage supply. That's it. Okay. So let us go for the second point. So we have discussed about what does this cyclo converter do. Now what happens? Now carefully you have to listen. These are all important points you have to mention. When this drive is at low frequency. Okay. Low I will represent like this. Low frequency. That means when it is running at low frequency, when it's operated at low frequency, then what happens? The harmonic content will be low. Okay, so low harmonic content, low frequency. This thing you remember. This is talking about this uh, controlled induction motor drive cyclo converter. Okay, so when operated at low frequency, low harmonic content will be there. Now because of these two factors there will be smooth operation, smooth motion Now there will be smooth motion is obtained at low speed. This is the second point. So whenever the drive is operated at low frequency, low harmonic content will be there. So there will be a smooth motion, a smooth operation is obtained at low speed. So when it, it is running at low speed. So when what happens when it is at running at what high frequency? When high frequency is there, so naturally what happens? High harmonic content will be there. When high harmonic content is there, then what you have to do? We have to restrict the speed. Okay. There won't be a smooth motion of that. So we have to, it is really necessary to limit the speed. So how will you limit the speed? So this maximum speed will be restricted to will be restricted to or we can say limited. Okay. To 40% of synchronous speed. I will write it as NS. NS is nothing but synchronous speed. So what you understood from this. See whenever the frequency is more. Harmonic content will be more. Therefore, therefore there won't be a smooth motion. At, uh, uh, smooth motion won't be there. Okay. So we have to restrict the maximum speed to 40% of nat nat synchronous speed. Now fourth point. Now here we have seen in the diagram. You can see that we are using many thyristors. Right. Many thyristors we are using in this. This is nothing but half wave cyclo converter fed induction drive. So in this you can observe that many thyristors has been used. Therefore, when we are using large number of thyristors, then we can say that it can be used in large power drives. Okay. So because of the fact, how can we use? Because we are using large number of thyristors, you can see here over here. So we can use this drive in what large power drives. Large power drives it can be used. Okay. Coming to the fifth point. Now this has one capability. What is that capability? This drive has regenerative braking capability.
there is this is one important advantage of this drive that the cyclo converter controlled induction motor drive has the advantage of what capability of regenerative braking okay so coming to the sixth point that will be nothing but that it can be operated in full four quadrants you might have studied about the full four quadrants four quadrants basically means that forward motoring forward braking reverse motoring reverse braking okay this is what is nothing but four quadrant operation so this can be operated in all the four quadrants by what by reversing we have to reverse the phase sequence okay we have to reverse the phase sequence what our ryb is there that you have to reverse and operate can be operated this drive can be operated in all the four four quadrants by reversing phase sequence of motor terminal voltage now seventh point you can write it as it is nothing but a gearless drive this drive is gearless now why it is called as gearless drive see other if you see conventional drives this drive without reducing the gear you can obtain low speed operation without reducing the gear you can obtain what low speed operations that is the advantage of this drive so it is gearless drive so when it becomes gearless drive so what all things you can get what is the advantage you can get you, then it eliminates the eliminates the cost space and maintenance right because because of the fact that this this is the gearless drive so we are reducing the gears whatever is being used so the we can eliminate whatever things is related to this drive cost as well as space and maintain and all these stuffs we can reduce so these are the main important points for cyclo control cyclo converter control induction motor drive all these points should be mentioned in the exam for this particular topic